Hey there, warriors, and welcome back to my fitness channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Goddess Squad. Okay, so today's workout is going to be a total body, no impact strength session. You are gonna need a band for your resistance. I'm using a heavier small loop band today. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and start our warm up. I want you to roll those shoulders down and back, pull that core in nice and tight, take it into a butt kick march with an arm swing. Start checking in with your body now. Anywhere that needs a little extra love in your warm up, make sure you give it. I love these no impact workouts. Great combination with our higher intensity ones you're gonna find on the channel. And I'm gonna pair this workout with a nice long walk this afternoon. Couple more reps here. Three, two, and one. Let's take it into a big reach across the body. Open up that side body as you reach. Keep that core pulled in tight. Three, two, and one. All right, let's take it into a reverse lunge. Step it back, chest up, drop that knee down, in and switch. Couple more reps here. Last one. Bring it up, take it into toe touches, straight down. Bring it up, squeeze those glutes at the top. Activate that posterior chain. Now I want you to keep the toe touch going and we're gonna reach for the sky. And reach, still squeezing those glutes. Two more reps here. Two, last one, one. All right, bring those arms up. Widen your stance, let's take it into a trunk twist. Pivot that outside foot, core is engaged, warming up that back. Two and one. Let's swing those arms up and down. Loosen up those shoulders. Three, two, and one. Step it wide, arms out. I want you to windmill down. Trunk twist at the bottom. go one more bring it up bring your stance in just a little bit feet are still pointed forward let's take it into a lateral lunge don't worry if you're not getting too deep it's just our warm-up but do keep those feet flat a couple more reps three two and one, all right. Let's take it into a few good mornings. I want you to take your hands, place them right back behind your ears, tighten up that core. All right, all we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge forward, open up those hamstrings, feel that nice stretch, bring it up, squeeze the glutes. When I say hamstrings, I mean the back of your leg here. Flat back, just neutral gaze here. We're not looking up. We're not looking directly down. I'm kind of peeping at the top of my yoga mat. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Give me one more. Nice, all right. 
Last little piece of our warm up. Let's take it into a marching knee to elbow. Pick that pace up just a little bit for me. Five, three, two, and one. Okay, you guys, that is it for our warm up together. If you are feeling tight or maybe a little sore and you need to take some extra time to warm up, do it, okay? Listen to your body. A good quality warm up is gonna give you a good quality workout. If not, let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, warriors, so today's workout is about 38 minutes long. We've got three rounds that we're gonna work through of this giant circuit. Now, if you are feeling spicy and you wanna take it for four rounds, I encourage you to do that. If you're maybe a little new into your fitness journey and you only wanna do one or two rounds, that is totally fine. We all start somewhere, okay? Now, as always, if you need a demonstration, peep the demonstration box up here in the corner. It's gonna show you how to properly do the moves for all of round one, okay? So, move one, we're not gonna be using our band. We're gonna be doing a, um, we're gonna start in a tabletop position. You're gonna crunch that knee into your chest and you're gonna kick it back, really squeezing that glute. Where there's no rest moving into move two, you're gonna keep that crunch and kick going and you're gonna add that push up, okay? So we're gonna start doing one side, so right side first and then we'll move into the left side, okay? All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get it. Okay, go ahead and set it up. You're gonna start in that tabletop position. Make sure that those uh, shoulders are directly over your wrists, okay? Here we go, set it up. We're gonna crunch that knee in, kick that leg out. So crunch, kick it out, squeeze that glute. Work the core, work the glute. Getting ready to add that push up. Let's go, in, out, chin to ground here. In, out, chin to ground. If you're not able to get that low, it's okay. You will get there. Keep that glute pulled in, or squeeze tight as you push. Switching legs, kick it in and out. Glute squeeze. Think about that core crunch. As you come in, we're not just going through the motions. Getting ready to add that push up. So we crunch, out, push. Squeezing that glute nice and tight as we drop down. rest okay you guys our next two moves we are going to be doing a cupid's pull with our band okay so cupid's pull move two we're going to add on to that pull with that lean back okay so grab a quick sip of water if you need it and we're rolling into our next set of moves just like with our first set it's going to go right side left side or left side right side doesn't matter what side you start on so let's get ready for that cupid's pull Tight core, squeezing those glutes, keep that elbow high, drive it back. As I pull it back, I'm really focusing on that squeeze of my shoulder blade. Getting ready to add that lean back. 
Let's go. Squeeze the glutes. Lean it back as you pull back. Don't let that butt drop. Keep the glutes engaged. Getting ready to switch sides. Switch sides. Cupid's pull. Keep that elbow high. Keep that core pulled in nice and tight. Getting ready to add our lean back. Squeeze those glutes. Not letting those hips drop. Heading into our next set of moves. So we're gonna be kneeling on the ground. We're gonna start with one leg. You're gonna stand all the way up and then go into that calf raise. And then the second move, we're gonna add that hinge, single leg hinge on that leg. So again, same thing, right side, left side. Start kneeling, proud chest, core in tight. Let's stand it all the way up, drive that knee up, calf raise all the way back down. Get that calf raise at the top. Getting ready to add that hinge. So now we're up, calf raise, and hinge back down. Awesome job, you guys. Getting ready to switch legs. Bring it down, switch that leg. Get ready to add that hinge. Rest. All right, you guys, this next one. First, we have a seated pull down. So banded pull down, and then we're gonna add that sit up, or I'm sorry, reverse crunch to our pull down, okay? And then we're gonna go into a seated pull apart, band pull apart, and then we're gonna add an oblique twist to that band pull apart, okay? So that's all four moves. Only one that's not broken down into two sides. So here we go, band up. So we're pulling it apart and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades down like into your back pocket. Chest up, proud chest. Pull it apart and squeeze. Getting ready to add that reverse crunch to it. 
So pull apart, squeeze, drop it back into that reverse crunch. You don't have to go far. Morning. Good morning. morning. Big pull apart. Come on, guys. Looking good. Getting ready to go into that pull. Let's go. Pull apart. Now pull apart, not pull down. This is a sneaky workout. Right now my arms and shoulders are like, huh? <laughs> Getting ready to add that oblique twist to your pull apart. So pull apart, twist. Pull apart, twist. Okay, you guys, next set of moves. We're gonna stand it up. You're gonna head into that forward lunge first, but take your band with you because you're gonna need the band for move two. We're gonna add that tricep press down to the forward lunge. So you'll lunge forward and then press it down. Right side, left side. Let's get it, guys. Set it up, forward lunge first. Pushing off that front leg. Chest up. Tight core. Getting ready to add that tricep press down. Here we go. So we're here. Press it down. Ready to switch legs. All right, let's go. Other side, forward lunge. Ready to add that press down, let's go. Keep that lunge going. Press down in the bottom of your lunge. All right, we're right back to the top, round two. So we have that crunch and kick out, and then that crunch and kick out with our tabletop press. Quick sip of water if you need it. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna show you a couple ways we can get a little spicier too throughout this workout. So we have that crunch and kick out, squeeze that glute. You wanna get spicy, double crunch, pulse it back twice. Getting ready to add that push. 
So I'm gonna do the same thing to my push. I'm gonna go singles with my in and out and I'm gonna pulse it at the bottom to get spicy. Dropping down to singles with my crunch and kick out so I'm not taking time away from my second move. Switch legs. Doubling up if you did on the other side. Getting ready to add our push. Doubling up with that pulse if you did on the other side. Awesome job, you guys. Rest. All right, let's take it into that Cupid's pull. Cupid's pull, you've got 30 seconds. Again, if we wanna get spicy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that double pulse at the back of our pull, okay? 10 seconds, tight core. Squeeze those glutes, here we go. So for spicy, a little pulse back there. Core is engaged. Looking over that straight arm. Getting ready to add our lean back. Pull it back, keeping my double pulse if I can. Awesome job, you guys. Come on, we're looking good. Switch sides, let's go. Cupid's pull, double pulse. On this side too, if you did it on the other side. Shoulders, You're starting to feel it, having to keep your arms up. Adding that lean back, let's go. But don't worry, we go into legs next, so your arms are gonna get a break. Keep that back elbow high, come on guys. Rest, ooh, shake those arms out. Feeling it. All right, so we have that kneeling to standing calf raise, okay? Kneeling to standing calf raise. Short little break here. So you can add two calf raises at the top to spice it up, okay? Add two, it's actually pretty challenging because it's forcing you to catch your balance. Two, right away. Kneeling, knee up, one, two. One, two. Keeping that core engaged. If you're falling all over the place, pick a spot on the floor and stare at it or the wall in front of you and stare at it. And tighten up that core. Getting ready to add our hinge. So, one calf raise, 
pulse it at the bottom of your hinge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. One. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Pulse it. Flat back, tight core. Taking out that second cap raise so you're not stealing time away from that hinge. Well, I was a mess on that one. Let's go. Switch legs. One, two. Getting ready to add our hinge. So we've got one calf raise. Pulse it if you can in your hinge. you guys now we have that banded pull down and then adding the reverse crunch to the pull down then our band pull apart and then the oblique twist with the pull apart again if you want to spice it up we are gonna add that pulse at the bottom okay those pulses are everything make it that much more challenging here we go guys pull it down Little pulse and lift. Shoulder blades back and down, back and down. Slide them down, squeeze. Getting ready to add that reverse crunch to it. Pull it down, hold the reverse crunch with your pulse. So keeping the spice in our first one and adding spice by having to hold for that pulse to our second move. Getting ready to add that pull apart. Let's go. Pull apart. In about five seconds, we're gonna add that oblique twist to our pull apart. So we pull it apart and twist. I forgot to give you a spicy option, guys. I'm sorry. Twist. Twist. It's because my arms are burning. Twist. 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 Oh, come on. Okay, that one hurt for me. <laughs> okay, so now we have that forward lunge and then we're gonna do the forward lunge with the tricep extension. So with your forward lunge, you can add a pulse to the bottom of your lunge to make it spicier. Seven seconds. All right, here we go. So forward lunge, pulse it, push it off. Tight core, proud chest. Getting ready to add our tricep press down. Let's go, hold it. 
Little pulse in your tricep, press down now as you hold that lunge. That's your spicy option. If you're not there, it's okay. Regular tricep press down. Switching legs, let's go. Chest up. Good morning. All the swimmers are out this morning. And I didn't add my pulse. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's go, tricep press down, adding that pulse. To your press down, if you can. you guys we are headed right into round three this is our final round today quick sip of water if you need it continuing to add the spiciness to your moves if you can all right guys let's get ready for it crunching kick out Go, crunch it, kick it out. Now, if you wanna add that spice, add that pulse to both moves. Making sure you're squeezing for that crunch. Now squeeze that glute in that kickback. Getting ready to add that tabletop press. So you're going to singles if you were spicy. Add that pulse, tabletop press. Tight core. Think about that form. Switch sides, let's go right into it. Spicy on this side, if you were spicy on the other. Getting ready to add that tabletop push. <laughs> Crunch, kick out, pulse it if you can. Awesome job, you guys. We're almost there. Rest. Get ready for that Cupid's pull. Adding that pulse if you can. All right, you guys, let's set it up. Squeeze those glutes, tighten up those cores. Pull it back, adding that pulse. I'm gonna take my spiciness one step further and I'm gonna stay back here and pulse it the entire time. Looking good. Keep that elbow high. Get underneath that shoulder blade, squeeze it. Getting ready to add that lean back. Let's go, we're gonna lean it back. 
and pulse it. I'm gonna try and hold my lean back for a few reps. Bring it forward, hit it again. Come on, push it. This is your last round. Get uncomfortable. Switch sides, let's go. Cupid's pulse, pulse it if you can. Go tighten up that core. You guys have got this, come on. Arms are gonna get a break after this. We're getting ready for that lean back. Drop it back, hold it for as many pulses as you can. You start to feel that form go, bring it up. Whew. My arms are on fire. Rest, oh my gosh, shake your arms out, you guys. We're getting ready to head into that feeling to standing calf raise. To add that spice, you have two calf raises. And then we have that hinge. Quick sip of water if you need it. You've got about 10 seconds. Proud chest, core in tight. Here we go, knee drive. I'm sticking with two calf raises. You can add a third if you wanna increase that spice. But I am having problems keeping my balance with two. Getting ready to add that hinge. Pulsing that hinge to make it a little spicier. You added a third calf raise, add that third hinge. Let's go, switch legs. Whatever you did on the first side, do on the second. Check that posture, shoulders down and back. Keep that core engaged. Round three, don't get lazy now. Getting ready to add that hinge, let's go. Flat back, fire up that hamstring. You should feel it through the back of the leg. Woo. All right, you guys, so we have that pull down. And then we'll add that reverse crunch to our pull down, pull apart, oblique twist. So for to make it spicier, I'm gonna kind of do like I did with my Cupid's pull. I'm gonna stay down here and pulse it until I feel my form go and then I'll release the pulse, okay? So here we go, guys. Pulse. Focus on those shoulder blades right now. Pulling the band tight as you come down. Small release. Awesome job, you guys. We're gonna add that reverse crunch. Same thing as my 
Cupid's pull and lean back. I'm gonna hold that crunch. If you feel it in your lower back, bring it up, reset. And it's okay, you don't have to hold it. Okay, you can stick with that full range of motion. There's no shame in wherever you are at in your fitness journey. Oh my gosh, here we go, pull it apart. My arms, shoulders, screaming at me right now, you guys, screaming. Getting ready to add that oblique twist. Two pulses or three pulses if you can. I'm struggling on this one, guys. No spicy for Tabitha on this one. Because that's where I'm at today. Rest. Oh my gosh, guys, that one killed me. All right, we are in our last little bit of work today. We're gonna take it into that forward lunge. All right, adding that tricep press down. What we're gonna do to make it ultra spicy, if you can, is you're gonna step forward, you're gonna hold that lunge and just pulse it down there, okay? We're not stepping back. We're gonna stay in it and pulse, if you can, okay? So we're forward. Now I want you to pulse, keep that front foot flat. Now, focus though, pushing off that front leg. I really want you to feel that quad burn in the front, okay? If you're feeling it in the back leg, more than the front leg, you need to shift it. Forward, focus on the front. Whew. Getting ready to add that tricep press down. Every time I come down, pressing it down. Work is happening in the front here. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. Struggle bus in here. Getting ready to switch legs. Oh, screaming. Oh man, we're getting ready to add that tricep press down to it for our last little bit of work today. This is it, guys. Arms, legs, oh my. Oh, come on, we're almost there. We've got five seconds of work, that's it. Awesome job today, you guys. That one was definitely a spicy one. My arms are noodles, but that's exactly what I wanted out of this today. Um, I would say my least favorite move today was definitely that band pull apart because my arms were shaking by then and uh, maybe internally screaming and externally crying to you guys about it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below um, which part you loved about the workout and what was your least favorite part about the workout. Now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Your guys' support means everything to me. Let's grow this goddess squad. Share it with your friends and family because nothing says I love you like health and fitness. Okay, you guys, you know this is my favorite time of the day when I get to join you on the mat and I appreciate you trusting me with your fitness journey. Okay, you guys, I love you. Make healthy choices and I will see you in the next one.